So here we have a MCQs relevant to these entrance examinations. And it is a favorite question of NERST, PIAS, GIKI and Aga Khan University. That a wire has length, this is a measured value and an error. Of radius, a measured value and error in it. Mass, a measured value and error in it. A maximum percentage error in density will be. So first of all, we have to write a relationship between the mass, length, radius and density. As we know that the density is equal to mass divided by volume. In the case of wire, the volume is equal to pi r square l. So we can write density as m divided by pi r square l. And for finding the maximum percentage error in density, the formula will be percentage error in mass plus percentage error in radius multiplied by 2 as we have a 2 in power plus percentage error in length. For these type of MCQs, we first find the percentage uncertainty in them. As we know that the fractional uncertainty is given by error divided by measured value. So in case of length, the error is 0 0.06 divided by 6. For radius, the error is 0 0.005 divided by 0 0.5 and for mass the error is 0 0.003 divided by 0 0.3. So here we have 0 0.01 fractional uncertainty or error. As from the key point we can multiply the fractional uncertainty with 100% to get the percentage uncertainty or error. So in this case multiply by 100% is equal to 1%. Similarly for this case fractional uncertainty is 0 0.01. Similarly multiply by 100% is equal to 1%. For this case, the fractional uncertainty is 0 0.01 multiply by 100% is equal to 1%. Putting these values into your general equation, we get as error in mass is 1% plus Error in radius is 1%, 1% multiply by 2 plus error in length is also 1%. Adding them we get 4%. So D is a right answer. So now you are able to solve these type of MCQs in entrance examination if the examiner asks about the fractional uncertainty, percentage uncertainty or the combined effect of them. Here we have our entry test MCQs and it is a favorite MCQs of NERST, ETA, ECAT, MCAT, MDCAT. That in an experiment to determine the density of a cube, the error in the measurement of mass is 0.25% and the percentage error in the measurement of length is 0.5%. What will be the percentage error in its density? First we will write a relationship between the density, length and mass. We know that the density is equal to mass per volume. As in case of cube, the volume is equal to V is equal to L raised to power 3 or length cube. So we can write it as density is equal to mass divided by length raised to power 
3. So we can write a general formula for the percentage error in density is equal to percentage error in mass plus percentage error in length multiplied by this power 3. So the percentage error in mass is 0 0.25 percent plus the percentage error in length is 0 0.50 percent multiplied by 3 and we can write it as 1.50 percent. So the percentage error in the density is equal to 1.75 percent.